stuff. And that was the best punch he's landed so far. That was a good little solid. Oh, no, no, no. One. Same punch. oh he's turned away. He doesn't want it, this guy, does he? What's happened there? I don't know if I took it. I get the impression there's it's possible a tooth has been loosened with that punch. Really? Oh, well, that was, his jaw was loosened with that. Well, he, he, he just flopped over there like that laundry fall, falling on the floor, but he there was something wrong with his tooth there. No, he doesn't want it. Doesn't I think he didn't. Yeah, I get the impression he's, that quick he's in quit the in the third round. Uh, well, he didn't expect that, or we didn't expect that. I suppose Hamid says, yes, I did expect that. This by the look of it, the Belgian referee, because this fellow's legs have stiffened on him. Now the referee should stop that, Reg. Yeah, he's over. That's the last thing we want. That was unnecessary, that last punch, totally unnecessary. That is the last thing we wanted to see tonight. He had nothing. Look, he just gets the rhythm in the shots. The, the left, the right comes up, and then the following left. All the momentum in this punch, a nice rhythm. The, also, Alessia caught him there, but he still had enough to land that left. Two. Can't back off. He has to go forward and try to get close. Hard right, one. the right hand we were worried about the fight's all over the fight is all over his legs have gone the referee could, could just call this Nazo I wonder if he'll back off and just let him recover because this fight should be stopped that young fellow's legs are completely gone if this fight is not finished in the first round it's because Nazo doesn't want to yet it's all over all over the most clinical finish seen in the British ring for some time and Prince Nazi Mohamed retains his WBO featherweight. Big chance of Nassim, Nassim ringing around this arena. Oh, terrific right hand and then a delayed action fall for Angeles. It seemed to take a while to take effect. It was the right hand, I'm sure, that did it. Angelis is down, he's looking at his corner. Is he going to beat the count? No, he's not. He's knocked out in the second round. There's the backflip. And Prince Nassim Hamed retains the WBC International Super Phantomweight Championship. He celebrates with promoter Frank Warren.
big left hand from Nassim and Hardy took that well or Peter then another right hand has stepped him in the first round there's that power again and can Hardy get up from that yes he can suddenly when you thought he was going to stay down it looked as if it would all be over and it might be too he's up at six the three knockdown rule is in effect one more knockdown he's stopped anyway he said round one it is round one he's still the wbo and ibf champion and he's starting to get on top good left hook right hand Sanchez is sitting upright and just getting some attention. And look how fired that hammer is. Well, he knows he was in. That's how I've got it at this moment. Everything so far to Hamed. I don't think as many would argue with that. Huge jab. And now he's going through the razzle dazzle. dancing while they're clinching Hamid watch the uh, use of the shoulder again that right hand working so well and this is a very confident Hamid well, look at this I think he's trying to do all this for the Sheffield fans he's playing to the audience trying to taunt Paul Padillo who's taking all this once or twice in the past Hamid has taken some stick for trying to humiliate his opponents in the ring and he certainly went over the top against Belcastro a few years back but I don't know where is the line between the kind of thing Ali and Sugar Ray Leonard used to do and it becoming bad taste the mind games are part of it aren't they very much so he's, he's trying to dazzle Badil with his antics as well as his, his speed of hand speed of foot and Steele just doesn't know what's going on. He looked a little bit of a dejected fight as he went back. Hammett threw another one. Badillo, not too happy, took another big left hand. This fellow is durable, but even he was wobbled by that. Then a right. Blood coming from his nose. This could be the finish now. They want to stop it. Badillo's corner want to stop it. They've rescued him. They don't want him to take any more of this. And Prince Nassim Hamed retains the WBO Featherweight Championship for the eighth time and I thought that was one of his most impressive performances yes I would have to agree I thought he was very careful he started with the Hamed is a puzzle that Kelly is unable to solve but down goes the Prince on Kelly's first serious landed punch second time in his career We get a good, powerful right jab by Kevin Kelly. Strong jab. Backs Nassim up. Nassim in the ropes. And one of the things that could happen would be that the Prince was exposed as a fraud. Kevin Kelly. Yeah, I think the last knockdown was flu. Kelly was down. The knockdown, the apparent knockdown of Kelly ruled a slip. I think the mistake he made. There we go. Right Let's go. Kelly a little slow to respond here. You got to be careful mixing up with Kelly because he can fight. And that's going to be ruled a knockdown. And the Nassim advocates in the crowd boo that. Hard left hand by Kelly. And a right hand shot. Leaping right hand by the Prince. Ooh. And a hard left. Kelly's down for the third time. Whoa! Six, seven, eight, nine. 
He's got a half a minute, and he He's is gone. definitely hurt. He's and the free. fight is over. George, this was like your fight with Ron Lyle. Gunslinger oh. against gunslinger. Boy, this guy's got power all in his hand. He's not putting his body into it, just hand speed. That was the first Prince Nassim knockdown of Kelly in that round. Then here's the Prince going down. I don't really think that was a knockdown. I think that this guy stooped so low, he has a tendency to touch his hands down to the canvas. Well, if, if, he, if his glove grazes the canvas, the referee is within his rights to rule it a knockdown, and Benji Estevez did. And wow. then that stunning left hand, and Kevin Kelly unable to get up from that left hand. He couldn't beat the count. The winner, and still the undefeated WBO featherweight champion of the world. Prince Nazim Hutman!